Jam was served a sweet treat this year after the band's standout Last Christmas finally reached Christmas number one. George would be beside himself, that, after all of these years, we've, finally obtained Christmas number one. Yog, George, said that he wrote Last Christmas with the intention of writing a Christmas number one. It's mission accomplished, said Wham, S. Andrew Ridgely on hearing the news. At 38 years old, Last Christmas is a Christmas classic, heard at almost every turn over the festive period. In some circles, the game Whamageddon has taken form in which players attempt to go without hearing the tune for the entire month of December, a near impossibility. Yet, while Wham! managed to create one of the best Christmas tunes, its lead George Michael is known not to have been a fan of the wintry tradition, having made a heartbreaking confession to his former partner before he died. Michael sadly died on December 25, 2016, in his home, and was determined to have passed due to fatty liver disease stemming from dilated cardiomyopathy with myocarditis. George had a number of lovers over the years, and was in a relationship with Fadi Farwas, an Australian celebrity hairstylist, when he died, and it was he who found his body on Christmas morning. In early 2017, just months after the tragic event, one of Georges' former lovers revealed intimate details about the performer's struggles. Carlos Arturo Ortiz told The Mirror he feared for the superstar's mental health after saying he knew he was deeply unhappy. The 59-year-old Colombian hairdresser was so worried about George's state of mind that he felt, something was going to happen to him, 